Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about equivalent division problems. Take a look. I've got two division problems here. Your job is to tell me which one of these is easier to do mentally, meaning in your head. Is it the first one, 95 divided by 5, or 190 divided by 10? Well, I'm going to say that the second one is easier to do because we know that anything divided by 10, we can just drop that last zero. And here, we know this answer is going to be 19. Think about it in reverse. 19 times 10, we add the zero, is 190. Now, it's not that you can't do this, right? Like 5 into 9 goes one time. It's a little harder to do mentally. Now, the thing is, these two division problems are equal. All I did was I added or I multiplied each number times 2. So I doubled 95 and I got 190. And I doubled 5 and I got 10. So I doubled it. It means it still has that same relationship. So the division problem really hasn't changed. But I can do this easier in my head. So this is a skill that makes your life so much easier once you can do it all in your head. Let me give you a few more examples of how you can create equivalent division problems. Take a look at this division problem. Again, not undoable, but if I had to have you do this in your head, do you think you could do it pretty quickly? Hmm. Is there a way that we could find an equivalent division problem that would be easier to do in our heads? Well, the, the system is you either look to double it or look to half it. If we doubled it, this would be 1,800, this would be 36. Still not that easy to do. What if we halved it? Well, half of 900 is 450, and half of 18 is 9. Well, we know that 9 goes into 45 five times, and 9 goes into 0, 0 times. So the answer is 50. I could do that in my head a little easier than I can do 18 and 900. So again, the rule is you either double it or half it. It works really well for fractions. Take a look at this problem. 11 and a half divided by 1 half. Now we know that when we're dividing with fractions, there's some certain things that we have to do. But what if we use our, this process of creating an equivalent division problem? You either half it or double it. Well, if we half this, we know this one half would go down to one fourth. Eh, that's not making it so easy. But what if we double this whole thing? Let's double this 11 and a half. So we know that 11 and 11 is 22, and the extra halves equal 23. So doubling this goes to 23. And Let's keep our division sign, but let's double a half. When you double a half, you get to 1. What's 23 divided by 1? 23. That's much easier to do. So the great thing about fractions is always think about, can I double it and get to a whole number? That'll make your life much easier. Here's one final problem for you. So I have a fraction here. What did I say about fractions? What's the easiest thing to do? Let's double it. 13 and a half. Well, we know that 13 plus 13 is 26, and we're going to add 1 for the half and a half. Gets us to 27. And we're going to keep our division sign. 4 and a half. Let's double that. Well, 4 and 4 is 8, plus the extra 1 is going to be 9. 27 divided by 9, much easier than doing all of this. We know this answer is 3. So when you're looking at division problems, one tactic might be, is there an easier way to do this? Can I half it or can I double it? And that's it. Pretty easy, huh? Make sure you check out the practice problems to do a bunch more like these. Okay, I will definitely see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.